Lewis Carroll, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland slash Through the Looking Glass. Welcome to the captivating world of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland slash Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Get ready to journey through a fantastical world as young Alice follows a curious rabbit and falls into a remarkable realm, filled with peculiar creatures and intriguing scenarios. With key themes of identity, curiosity, and reality versus imagination, this summary will give you a taste of Alice's emotional and conceptual journey as she navigates through the delightful, strange, and often perplexing world that lies beyond the rabbit's hole. Alice's Curiosity Adventure Alice follows a white rabbit into a rabbit hole, leading her to a hall of small doors. With the help of a golden key, she discovers an enchanting garden, but her size proves to be a challenge. On a beautiful summer's day, Alice finds herself bored with her sister's book when a white rabbit with a pocket watch runs by. Intrigued, Alice chases after the rabbit and falls down a deep and narrow hole. After what seems like an endless fall, she lands in a hall cluttered with small doors and finds a golden key on a glass table. One of the doors leads to an enchanting garden, but Alice is too tall to fit through the door. Throughout her journey, Alice demonstrates her curiosity by following the rabbit and exploring the hall's door's mystery. However, Alice's curiosity translates to new challenges, such as her size's limitations in accessing the garden. Alice's adventure in Wonderland shows the reader the importance and value of curiosity in life and highlights how it paves the way towards growth understanding, and enlightenment. Alice's Puzzling Transformation Alice shrinks and grows after drinking a mysterious potion and eating a cake. Unable to reach the key or fit through the door, she questions her identity and recites nursery rhymes unsuccessfully. The rabbit's sudden disappearance leaves behind only white gloves, leaving Alice perplexed about her situation. Alice's Wacky Adventure Continues Alice gets smaller and meets some talking animals who take part in a ridiculous race in which everyone wins a prize. Alice continues her incredible journey by putting on one of the rabbit's gloves and then realizing that she has shrunk again. She seizes the opportunity to run towards the entry to the garden, but she ends up in a large pool of her tears. However, many animals have also fallen into the water and are swimming behind her. Alice tries to make conversation with the mouse, but she ends up angering it by continuously insulting it with talk about her cat's hunting prowess. Once they all climb onto the shore, the group wonders how they can get dry. The mouse unsuccessfully attempts to dry them with a dull narrative of the Norman conquest. The dodo then suggests a caucus race, where everyone runs where they please without any clear objectives. After running around in different directions for at least half an hour, they dry off properly. They then ask Alice to hand out prizes and, luckily for everyone, she finds some old candy in her pocket and enough for each animal to get a piece. Even though she doesn't have any left for herself, the animals decide that Alice should still get a prize. The dodo asks Alice what else she has in her pockets, and she discovers a single thimble. Despite finding the whole spectacle absurd, she solemnly takes the gift. Overall, Alice's wacky adventure continues, as she navigates swimming in her tears, meeting talking animals, and taking part in a ridiculous race in which everyone is a winner. Alice shrinks and grows again. After losing the rabbit's gloves, Alice grows big from drinking a potion and gets stuck in a house's chimney. The rabbit sends Bill the lizard to fetch his gloves, but Alice kicks him back down the chimney. The rabbit gets angry and threatens to burn down the house. Alice shrinks after eating a cake, frees herself, and meets the caterpillar on a mushroom. Alice finds herself in another predicament when she encounters the rabbit again. He demands his gloves, which Alice has lost, and she decides to search for them. While looking, she stumbles upon a small house and decides to explore. After drinking a mysterious potion, Alice suddenly grows so big that she gets stuck in the house's chimney. The rabbit sends Bill the lizard to retrieve his gloves, but Alice's powerful kick sends him back down the chimney. The rabbit's frustration prompts him to threaten to burn the house down, causing Alice to counter-threaten with her cat, 
Dinah. The rabbit throws pebbles that turn into cakes, and after eating one, Alice begins shrinking again and escapes into the woods. She ends up too small yet again and meets the caterpillar smoking on a mushroom. Adventures of Alice in Wonderland After her encounter with the Cheshire Cat, Alice meets the caterpillar who advises her on changing her size using a mushroom. She eats from both ends of the mushroom and grows in parts. She stumbles upon the house of the Duchess and witnesses an invitation to play croquet. Alice's Wonderland adventures continue as she makes her way through the woods. The caterpillar questions her identity, and in response, Alice recites a poem. Despite a critical comment from the caterpillar, Alice confides in the creature her wish to be different. The caterpillar shares a mushroom with Alice, revealing its ability to change her size. In her attempt to master this mushroom, she grows in parts, becoming mistaken for a serpent. Along the way, she stumbles upon the intriguing household of the Duchess and an invitation to play croquet from the Queen. Alice's adventures continue. Alice encounters the Duchess, a disappearing Cheshire cat, and rude tea party hosts in a nonsensical world filled with peculiar happenings. In Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Alice's adventure continues as she encounters the Duchess's cook preparing pepper soup but suddenly starts hurling plates at the Duchess, who hands Alice a baby that turns into a piglet. Bewildered, Alice heads towards a large rose tree near the entrance of the garden where she encounters the Cheshire Cat, known for its disconcerting habit of disappearing slowly from tail to head, leaving just its lingering grin. Alice further meets the March Hare, Mad Hatter, and the Dormouse having tea under a tree. Despite many empty places, the tea party hosts give Alice a rather rude welcome, constantly ridiculing her manners, while she reprimands them for not inviting her even with so many places. The discussion on time and a lack of solutions to their riddles further adds to Alice's frustration. Overall, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland presents a nonsensical world filled with peculiar happenings where Alice encounters various characters, each with their own unique quirk, making for a fascinating read. Alice's Encounter with the Card Queen Alice follows a new path and discovers a magical garden where she meets three gardeners painting white roses red. The queen arrives, and Alice plays croquet with her using flamingos as mallets. The queen threatens to behead anyone who displeases her, and one by one, she orders the execution of all the players for being unable to follow the confusing rules. The Curious Case of the Cheshire Cat Alice seeks refuge in the company of the Cheshire Cat. However, her relief is short-lived as the king orders the beheading of the cat for not kissing his hand. A debate ensues over the possibility of beheading the cat without a body. Alice tries mediating, but the queen has the duchess, the cat's owner, locked up. The cat vanishes as the executioner goes to fetch the duchess. The argument between the queen and the executioner leaves Alice aghast, leading her to ponder the absurdity of the situation where the sentence precedes the verdict. Alice and the Duchess Alice reconnects with the Duchess, who shares a life lesson that doesn't sit well with the Queen. The Duchess flees and Alice continues her journey to learn from the Mock Turtle. Initially annoyed by his anecdotes, Alice joins in on the lobster quadrille dance after being taught by the Griffin and the Turtle. The Surreal End of Alice's Journey Alice's fanciful journey comes to a surreal end as she wakes up from a dream. In the last scene, the trial of the knave of hearts in a courtroom full of animals finally leads Alice to denounce the absurdity of it all. As she grows taller, she gains confidence and dismisses the playing cards. Suddenly, Alice wakes up screaming in fear and finds herself lying on the river bank. She realizes that everything was just a dream. Alice shares her adventure with her sister, who suggests the fantastical story could entertain future generations. In conclusion, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland slash Through the Looking Glass is an enchanting tale that not only takes readers through the twists and turns of a fantastical realm, but also invites them to question their own perceptions of reality and self-identity. As Alice returns to the real world, it is important to remember that the world of wonder was a mere dream and a manifestation of her vivid imagination. 
Her adventures serve as a powerful reminder that curiosity, imagination, and self-discovery are all essential elements of the human experience and deserve to be cherished. So, go forth, and like Alice, never let the mundane world dull your sense of wonder, curiosity, and imagination.